I had an interesting interaction with a grocery store cashier a few minutes ago that left me thinking about what I call social scripts. Now, this is not going to be some fancy conversation about psychology or anything like that, but just bear with me for a minute. I was in line and I was in a grocery store called Publix. And if you live in the South, there's a decent chance that you're familiar with Publix. Uh, it's a major chain out of Florida. And the cashiers at Publix tend to be very well-trained, tend to be decent, at least as compared to other places. Anyway, the young woman who was uh, at the cash register was polite and friendly and said, How are you doing tonight, sir? And I said, as I sometimes do when I am being silly or I'm just in the right mood to do it, I said, well, the truth would be way too complicated or way too complex to explain, but I'll just say I'm fine because that's what you expect to hear anyway. And then I laughed and she looked puzzled briefly and then she burst out laughing. And a customer who had just checked out, who was still getting her stuff together, also started laughing. And the cashier said, I'd never thought about it that way. And I said, well, the truth is, you don't really care how I'm doing, but you're paid to ask how I'm doing and to pretend that you care. And I respond in the way that you're accustomed to, the way you're expecting, because this is a part of the social script we are running. And... Fortunately, the place wasn't busy, so it's not like, you know, there were people behind, like, you know, would you get out of the way? No, there was nobody behind me. So we sat there and had a conversation for a couple of moments about what it means to have a social script. She had never thought about this before. When I was younger, I reached a point at which I realized that the things that we said to each other a lot of them we absolutely did not mean, especially in routine daily interactions. And even though I had been trained very well as a child to act in the ways that I needed to act, I reached the point that I felt as though, well, we don't really mean these things. Why do we say them? And logically, that makes sense because... The woman at the store tonight, she did not care how I was doing. She admitted, she says it, you know, to every customer. She's accustomed to it. She doesn't think that much about what they say. We all do this. Even if you don't think about it that much, you do some form of this in your own life. But you know what? The conclusion that I came to when I was young, that it was ridiculous, is completely wrong. We do this with one another because this is what allows us to unconsciously signal to one another, I am a part of your tribe. I am one of you. I am safe. You can trust me. The unconscious and unspoken rules that apply to our tribe will apply with me. We rarely think about this, but this is how we signal to one another. Now, if you think about it, we at times go to a lot of trouble. Some of us go to a lot of trouble to train younger children in how to interact with people. Now, we call that manners. We say that somebody who knows how to run those social scripts has good manners. But what we really mean is, this person knows how to act in such a way that identifies the person as being a part of the tribe, being a part of the group, and being somebody who knows how to do and say things. So even though a lot of times today I hear people questioning whether it's ridiculous to force children to learn manners, to learn how to interact with other people. And frankly, I know other people who never bother to teach their children how to interact with others using these social scripts that are second nature to those of us who were raised with them. You really are doing a disservice to a child if you don't teach the child that.
Because the child is going to be judged to a large degree by how he or she can deal with those sorts of situations. A lot of times people meet me uh, for the first time and they think I must be an extrovert. Well, I'm not really an extrovert. I'm naturally introverted. Being around big groups of people makes me exhausted. But if you were around me in public, you would never know that. Why? Because I know how to run the social scripts that allow me to fake being what people expect a friendly, well-mannered, charming person in public is supposed to be. Well, I try to be charming. I don't know if it works or not. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this up because I think it's really important, especially in relation to children. So when you find yourself thinking that it doesn't matter and it's ridiculous that we say these things to one another, I just want to say that I think it matters a whole lot. And so the next time I ask you, how are you? With some of you, I might really mean it. But with most people, I'm just running a social script. And that's fine. You can know that. And you can respond with, I'm fine. How are you? But neither of us is being false or dishonest or anything of that nature. We are simply doing the things that identify us as being a part of a tribe that knows how to get along and how to live together in peace. So keep that in mind. (laughs) 